I received a request to read Colossians chapter 3. So in this video, I will read through that chapter in three translations. The Wycliffe, the Coverdale, and the Great Bibles. In the Wycliffe, there are some older Middle English words that are kind of obsolete now, so I've replaced them with a more understandable word. Yeah, let's start with Wycliffe, Colossians chapter 3. Therefore, if ye have risen together with Christ, seek ye those things that be above, where Christ is sitting in the right half of God. Savor ye those things that be above, not those that be on the earth. For ye be dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. For when Christ shall appear, your life, then also ye shall appear with him in glory. Therefore slay ye your members, which be on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, lechery, evil covetousness, and avarice, which is service of idols, for which things the wrath of God came on the sons of unbelief, in which also ye walked some time when ye lived in them. But now put ye away all things, wrath, indignation, malice, blasphemy, and foul word of your mouth. Do not ye lie together. Spoil ye you from the old man with his deeds, and clothe ye the new man that is made new again into the knowing of God, after the image of him that made him. Where is not male and female, heathen man and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarous and Scythian, bondman and free man, but all things and in all things Christ. Therefore ye, as the chosen of God, holy and loved, clothe you with the entrails of mercy, benignity, and meekness, temperance, patience, and support ye each other, and forgive to yourself if any man against any hath a quarrel, as the Lord forgave to you, so, so also ye. And upon all these things have ye charity, that is the bond of perfection. And the peace of Christ enjoy in your hearts, in which ye been called in one body, and be ye kind. The word of Christ dwell in you plenteously, in all wisdom, and teach and command yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, in grace singing in your hearts to the Lord. All things, what everything ye do, or whatever thing ye do, in word or in deed, all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, doing thankings to God and to the Father by him. Woman, be ye subject to your husbands, as it behooveth in the Lord. Men, love ye your wives, and do not ye be bitter to them. Sons, obey ye to your father and mother by all things, for this is well-pleasing in the Lord. Fathers, do not ye provoke your sons to indignation, 
that they be not made feeble-hearted. Servants, obey ye by all things to fleshly lords, not serving at eyes as pleasing to men, but in simpleness of heart, dreading the Lord. Whatever ye do, work ye of will as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that of the Lord ye should take yielding of heritage. Serve ye to the Lord Christ, for he that doeth injury shall receive that that he did evil, and exception of persons is not with God. Now let's look at the Coverdale. The Epistle of the Apostle St. Paul to the Colossians. The sum of this epistle, chapter 3. He putteth them in remembrance of the spiritual resurrection to lay aside all manner of corrupt living, to be fruitful in all godliness and virtue, and showeth all de degrees their duty. The third chapter. If ye be risen now with Christ, seek those things then which are above, where Christ is, sitting on the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things which are above, not on the things that are upon earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. But when Christ our life shall show himself, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon earth, whoredom, uncleanness, unnatural lust, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is a worshipping of idols, for which things sakes the wrath of God cometh upon the children of unbelief, in the which things ye walked sometime when ye lived in them. But now put all away from, your, from you, wrath, fierceness, maliciousness, cursed speaking, filthy words out of your mouth. Lie not one to another. Put off the old man with his works, and put on the new, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that made him. Where there is no Greek, Jew, circumcision, uncircumcision, barbarous, Scythian, bond, free, but Christ is all and in all. Now therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against another. Like as Christ hath forgiven you, even so do ye also. But above all things put on love, which is the bond of perfectness. And the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which peace ye are called also in one body. And see that ye be thankful. Let the words of let the word of Christ dwell in you plenteously in all wisdom. Teach and exhort your own selves with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs which have favor with them, singing in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or work, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus and give thanks unto God the Father by him. Ye wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands, as it is comely in the Lord. Ye husbands, 
love your wives, and be not bitter unto them. Ye children, obey your elders in all things, for that is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Ye fathers, rate not your children, lest they be of a desperate mind. Ye servants, be obedient unto your bodily masters in all things, not with eye service as men-pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. Whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, even as unto the Lord, and not unto men. And be sure that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doth wrong shall receive for the wrong that he hath done, for there is no respect of persons with God. Ye masters, do unto your servants that which is just and equal, and know that ye also have a master in heaven. And finally, let's look at the, the Great Bible. Colossians chapter 3. He putteth them in remembrance of the spiritual resurrection to lay aside all manner of corrupt living, to be fruitful in all godliness and virtue, and showeth all degrees their duty. The third chapter. If ye be then risen again with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on heavenly things, and not on earthy things. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Whensoever Christ, which is our life, shall show himself, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your earthy members, fornication, uncleanness, unnatural lust, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is worshipping of idols, for which things' sake the wrath of God useth to come on the disobedient children among whom ye walked some time when ye lived in them. But now put ye also away from you all such things, wrath, fierceness, maliciousness, cursed speaking, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his works, and have put on the new man, which is renewed into the knowledge and image of him that made him, where is neither Gentile nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarous or Scythian, bond or free. But Christ is all in all things. Therefore, as elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against another, as Christ forgave you, even so do ye. Above all these things put on love, which is the bond of perfectness, and the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which peace ye are called in one body. And see that ye be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you plenteously with all wisdom. Teach and exhort your own selves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do, 
in word or deed. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father by him. Ye wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is comely in the Lord. Ye husbands, love your wives, and be not bitter unto them. Ye children, Obey your fathers and mothers in all things, for that is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Ye fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be of a desperate mind. Ye servants, be obedient unto them that are your bodily masters in all things, not with eye service as men-pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as though ye did it to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doth sin shall receive for his sin. Neither is there any respect of persons with God.